What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Wingstop Hoppy back to him in another video. In today's video, we have my Yeezy Day pickup right here, which is going to be the Yeezy 700 V3 Azel. Hopefully I said that right. Sorry, I'm not an expert on pronouncing all these weird Yeezy names. In addition to the Yeezy 700 V3s, I figured I'd make this a two-part video and we do have three new hat club pickups that I got last week. So I figured I would just tie these in all together because I know these Yeezys already came out so it's not going to be official review, but I still wanted to talk about them and share my thoughts and opinions on this particular pair of shoes because at one point this shoe was reselling for $600 and now you can get them for retail, which I think is insane. But anyways, before we get into the video, please hit like, subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram down below to see how I style all my sneakers and outfits. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So I'm not going to show off the box because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you've probably seen an easy box. The Easy 700 V3 box is no different. It's that brown Easy box we all know. But anyways, here they are, the Easy 700 V3 Azel. This was the first colorway to drop on the 700 V3. I believe they dropped in 2019, right at the end of the year. And I just remember people were going crazy for them because I remember Kanye West gifted DJ Khaled these. And that's when the internet first saw these for the first time. It was that photo when they were like getting on the private jet or whatever. But yeah, anyways, people went absolutely crazy for these. And then they dropped, they made them super limited and they were reselling for $600 and yeah, it was pretty crazy. And then they dropped more colorways, which I actually did end up picking up one of the colorways. I had the uh, yellow ones. I forgot what they were called. Sorry, there's so many random Yeezy names. And I actually wore them a few times. And I will have to say, the Yeezy 700 V3, in my opinion, don't hate me for saying this, but in my opinion, this is the most uncomfortable Adidas Yeezy that I personally own. As you guys know, this shoe does not have the boost. It has that EVA foam. And I wish it really did have boost because I'm going to be honest with you guys. When Yeezy Day came around, I just entered for these because I entered for everything. I wanted to see if I could win something. I'm probably not going to end up keeping these just because after wearing those yellow ones, the safflowers, that's what they were called. After wearing those for around like a year, I actually ended up getting rid of them because I just found them not to be comfortable for my foot. And it's just because the EVA foam just wasn't as comfortable as boost. And if I'm going to wear a Yeezy, I'm going to want the boost in it. So that's really why I got rid of these. But in other terms of like overall comfort for this shoe, the shoe also runs like super narrow. So if you are looking to pick these up, definitely go up half a size. I picked these up in 11. They actually fit me perfect. But once again, they are super narrow in the midfoot. So if you have a wide foot, you might want to go up a full size, honestly. But yeah, so that's my recommendation on sizing. In terms of resale, it's honestly crazy to me that these restocked. And now they are sitting for retail pretty much on all the aftermarket websites. And once again, three months ago, this was like a $500 shoe, which I feel bad for anyone. Pour a drink out for someone who paid $500 for this shoe three months ago. Because looking at that today, that has to be a tough pill to swallow. Personally for me, I would be very pissed if that was... If I was in that situation, but thank God I'm not. It's actually funny because one of my buddies, he wanted to pick this shoe up like last year and he wanted to pay. He was asking me if he should pay like the $500 resale price. And I basically told him, I was like, with Yeezys, they're probably going to restock. So you might as well just hold off. And he ended up getting a pair for retail on this restock. So there you have it. So my advice with all the Yeezys, honestly, I would not pay some crazy resale price for them because chances are just like these, they're going to restock. And also this model has just lost like all hype. It's kind of crazy to me. I feel like the Yeezys, they have like that two year window besides like the 350 V2 boost and the 700s. All the other Yeezys, they're like hype when they first come out and then people just kind of move on. And that's how I feel about these. I think people just like moved on from them. Not saying this is a bad shoe. It's super futuristic. But even on Instagram, when I see people wearing Yeezys, they're never wearing the 700 V3s. Honestly, I think it's one of the cooler looking Yeezy silhouettes, but for whatever reason, it just kind of has moved on from people's minds and people just really aren't messing with it anymore. Hence why you can pick these up for retail today. But other than that, speaking of Yeezy Day, you guys let me know how you guys did down below. Like I said, all I hit was these. I wasn't too pressed. I didn't get any exclusive access. All the confirmed raffles I lost besides these, obviously. And on Yeezy Supply, I'm not even gonna waste my time on that website. Because if you've ever tried copying Yeezys on Yeezy Supply, you know how difficult it is, and you know how bots eat, and it's just a waste of time for everyone. So I don't even bother with Yeezy Supply anymore. But yes, this is my Yeezy Day pickup. If you guys are a size 11 and want these for retail, 
DM me on Instagram. I'll be glad to ship these out to you for retail plus shipping. And yeah, you guys can have them. So if you're a size 11, you want these, let me know. But anyways, let me know what you guys copped on Easy Day and let's get into part two of the video. So if you guys like hats and you like Hat Club, you're gonna enjoy this part two because I got a three pack right here that came in last week. Two of these are from the NBA crossovers and then one is probably my favorite hat here, which I'll get to. But starting it off hot, we got to go for the Detroit Pistons, Detroit Tigers crossover. As you can see, we got the Tiger going through the D logo. You got this beautiful teal. You got the 2000 Detroit Tigers patch, stadium patch on the side right here. I love the red and the teal on this hat. And one of the reasons I bought this hat is because I love those Pistons throwback jerseys so much. And they're actually bringing them back out this season. Now, I'm not a Detroit Pistons fan, so I'm probably not going to cop one of those jerseys. And I don't really wear basketball jerseys that much anymore to justify buying one. So I had to pick up this hat, scratch that itch of not being able to buy the jersey. But yes, another beautiful hat nonetheless. A gray underbrim hits very nicely. But yes, always love this Tigers logo, by the way. One of my favorite sports logos. I'm wearing the swinging tiger hat right now. Moving on to another NBA crossover hat. This is actually my first Atlanta Braves hat. And as you can see, this is the Atlanta Braves, Atlanta Hawks crossover. We got yellow, black brim, red under visor. Now this mimics the Atlanta Hawks alternate yellow jerseys that they wore in 2004. And personally growing up, I absolutely love those Atlanta Hawks jerseys, the yellow ones, Josh Smith, Joe Johnson, a couple other players. I absolutely love those yellow jerseys. I always wanted one growing up as a kid. I never bought one, but when I saw this hat, this reminded me of those jerseys. And I figured, why not? I don't have a Braves hat, so I decided to cop it. Also, I really like this 30 year anniversary Braves patch on the side right here. Very nice touch. Red under brim, like I said. And then, of course, you got the flat batterman and also the alternate Braves Tomahawk logo which in my opinion is the best Atlanta Braves logo. I know their regular classic A is iconic, but I personally prefer this alternate Tomahawk logo with the A. No yellow is a tough color to wear, but I'm gonna make this happen nonetheless. And then my last hat here, I'm not a big Stone Island fan, nor do I own any Stone Island pieces, but I love this Mariners logo, and this looks exactly like a Stone Island fitted hat would if Stone Island ever made fitted hats. But as you guys know, Compass logo Mariners. We got the 35th anniversary patch right here. Beautiful olive green color. If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys know I love olive green. And the cool thing about this hat is that this UV is actually gonna be a stone color and not a traditional gray. It's a super nice touch. Hopefully the camera picks it up. But honestly, perfect fall hat right here. I, I cannot wait to wear this thing all the time because Olive green goes with a lot of stuff, and I have a lot of stuff in my closet that goes with olive green. So follow me on Instagram or whatever. Definitely expect to see me wearing this hat a lot for some fall fit picks. But anyways, that's going to conclude this video. Three-piece hat club pickup. Oh my god. Yeezy 700 V3 Azales. Let me know what you guys think about either or the hats or the shoes. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.